we do that at two. Yes. Yeah, we, we do that at two. I have to get some better chalk for my board. I know you can't see it that good. <laughs> I have a nut studio now. Okay, I thought today we'd work on our kidneys. Oh, yeah. yeah. We get into it. I said, you know what? Let's do my own. So we'll uh, come to a comfortable seat and just bring the soles of your feet together. Maybe yes. sit on a blanket, elevate your hips. Working on our kidneys and urinary bladder. And would you like me to leave that door open too? Whatever noise you can help with, but I noticed she's having a real trouble hearing today. Oh, okay. All right. You so she's them. like she's watching your your cue, like she's not hearing anything. I'll show her. <laughs> yeah. I'll shut this tent. Are you sure? It's nice though. Well, I know, but if she needs to, she can see me. I'll help. Yeah, her. yeah. She'll oh, do visual. Let that I just just let her one. know that. Because oh. I've been trying to talk to her just from here, and she's not hearing. Me, so. so butterfly pose, just putting the soles of your feet together. And if you can sit on a blanket, elevate your hips. So you can bring your heels up further away for less intensity or closer towards your sitting bones. Just see how you feel today, closing your eyes. You can also take two blocks and place them under your knees. And rest your knees if you have a strap. And I do have extra long straps back there if anybody wants to borrow one. These are just suggestions. You can do what feels good for you. Take me a little longer. I used this last night. <laughs> you take your strap behind you and you just place one strap under your foot and just pull it through the two holes, go back through one. And this just helps support your lower back a little. You don't have to use a strap. So just closing your eyes here. Just seeing how you feel today. Letting your shoulders relax. Just taking some deep breaths here. Letting your hands relax, shoulders, jaw. Target here is our inner thighs and groin. Your attention for this pose. Or if you'd like to get more into your back, you can forward fold. Reaching for your toes. Just letting that upper body relax. Let gravity take over. Just finding stillness. Coming to your first edge of resistance. <laughs> Widen your minds and we'll hold for time. If you're forward folding, you're also getting into your spine. Noticing any dull, achy sensation with stretching the tissues. Just don't want to feel any compression, bone on bone. The element for the kidneys is water. The season <clears throat> is winter. Kidneys don't like cold. The emotion is fear. <clears throat> Kidneys store the essence. The essence is the basis for all of life's processes. Let Jen in. Quieting your mind here, 
There's no set breathing in the end. Just letting your breath be natural. Maybe over time, <clears throat> bringing those heels a little closer. Stop forcing it, anything. You can always give your feet a massage while you're down here. Just letting your body sink into this pose. And just remembering everybody's body is different. No perfect pose. Just letting your body do what it wants. We can give you the cues about just listening to your body. Coming to that first edge of resistance. Holding for time. Finding stillness. <clears throat> and the fourth principle is we always come out of the yin yoga poses slowly. Just taking a few more deep breaths here. So come up nice and slow. Just bring your knees together. Just removing any props out of the way. Sit back and see if you can windshield wiper. Nice and slow, getting your feet a little wider. One more time. And just coming onto your stomachs for sphinx pose. Just rolling. Maybe just coming to our table for a minute to do some spinal waves. If you have any knee issues, just reaching your right hand on your knees. Hands under shoulders, just waving forward. And pushing the earth away. Exhaling as you look under. Just notice how your body's feeling today. Just moving it, maybe some circles. Looking back at your right heel, with a C shape with your hip and shoulder. To the other side. Just bring that a couple times. See how your ankles are feeling. See if you can bring that. Right foot on top of your left. And maybe just sit back on your ankles, your heels. See how that feels. It's too much on your knees, just coming out. And then just making some small movements, massaging the bottom of that left foot. And then just stretch our feet enough, the tops, the ankles. And if it's painful, just backing up. So just coming forward and trying that on the other side. Just slapping up the feet a couple times. And try that left foot on top of your right. Just seeing how it feels. And just making some circles, just trying to massage those feet, ankles. 
too much on your knees, just backing up. Feels good, you can sit back. And just a couple more. And when you're ready, just slowly coming onto your stomachs. Always move that blanket up if you want under your elbows. So coming into Sphinx, we just want our elbows under our shoulders, letting your hips and pelvis relax. Legs relax. Just feeling this back bend, your L2, L3 vertebrae. It's too much. You can always come down and rest your head. Pointing your first edge of resistance here. Now let's take a block here and rest your forehead. Just notice if you're holding on to your boots. Just letting those legs become heavy. Pose for time. So the kidneys rule the water. The kidneys are the foundation upon which the entire process of water movement is built. Water here refers to the moisture in your body. It's also the opposite of fire. Water is the yin, so fire is yang. Kidneys rule over water through their yang aspect, through this gate of life, which resides be between the kidneys and transforms water into a mist and circulates through the body. Kidneys open to the ears. The kidney chi goes through the ear. If the kidney is harmonized, the ear can hear the five tones. Many hearing problems can be treated through the kidneys. Stay here, or if you feel like you need to go further, you can come into your seal. Just tenting those fingers nice and wide and lifting up a little bit more. If you've already come to your edge of resistance, just stay there on the earth. Just a little bit more intense. You can bend your knees if you want. Just backing off if you feel anything, pinching, numbing, tingling. Just want to feel that dull, achy sensation. Just slowly coming down and see if you can just rest your head now on your hands. Just windshield wiper, those legs side to side, nice and slow.
Just taking those arms out to a T. And just drop your left cheek on the earth. You can just start to roll onto that left side of your body. Planting your right hand in front of your chest and then that right foot just tapping behind your left knee on the earth and just rest your head. Just taking a shoulder stretch here. Keeping that left arm up to the left side of the room. You can just back off a little bit. If it's too much, just keep that right knee in front of you. Just wanna rest your left side of your head on the earth. You decide where your edge is. Good. Just see if you can take a few deep breaths here. And you're going to slowly come back onto your stomachs. Slide that right arm up to the right. Both arms are out. And you're going to slide onto the right side of your body, keeping that right arm out. Walk that left hand in. And maybe bend that left knee, just tapping it on the earth. Again, just find your first edge of resistance, backing off a little. This is too much. Just breathing into that shoulder. Good, one more long breath here. Slowly coming back onto your stomachs and just planting your hands again. Just take it back to a wide knee child's pose. And if you have a bolster, please place that bolster. And you can just rest your head on the bolster, just your belly, just relaxing here in your child's pose. Taking those knees nice and wide, and again, if you have any knee issues, just moving that blanket down. Just closing your eyes, just feeling the back of your body stretching. Relaxing your face, your jar, tongue in your mouth. Just feeling the props supporting your body. So always practicing that in yourself, non-harming to yourself, non-harming to others. Just turning your other cheek on the bolster. Just turn your right cheek now.
You're ready to slowly coming up. And just see if you can sit back on your heels. So there's different ways you can sit on two blocks if you want. So roll up your blanket. You can put this behind you, sitting back like this. So just coming into your varasana any way you want. Either sitting on your blanket, sitting on two blocks. Taking those knees nice and wide. Just making sure it's comfortable for you. Your knees are screaming. Just come back to a comfortable seated pose if this is uncomfortable. You can always come back to an easy pose. I know it's a hard pose, Marasana. Just taking your knees a little further apart will help. This feels okay. Just bringing your bolster behind you. Just closing your eyes here, finding that comfortable spot. Notice where you're feeling it. Just backing off again if it's too much. Just come to that easy pose. This feels okay, and you want to lean back, make it more of a back bend. You can also place blocks under your bolster, make it higher. So these are just options. Stay up here, this is an option to stay here. Feel this in your quadriceps. You want to lean back a little. It's getting more of a back bend. Come here. Not rushing anything. Taking your time. Maybe come all the way down. Again, these are just suggestions. Just staying right here. If you want to take your ego out, staying up here, getting into your shoulders too. Switching arms if you're doing that eagle arm. Again, just coming out of the pose, feeling anything numbing, tingling, or painful. Don't hesitate. Slowly releasing those arms and just coming out a little Guys, like that time. <laughs> just tapping out the tops of your feet. Back and forth. And just getting off those knees. Come on to your sit bones. Extend those legs out of front. Relax and point your feet. Shake them out. You do that windshield wiper. Back, nice and soft. 
feed into our caterpillar nest. Just a great kidney pose. Just finding your blanket here. And sitting on the blanket will help elevate your hips. And you can have your bolster close by. Your blocks close by. So just think about sitting on the edge of your blanket, I should say, so your hips and pelvis fall forward. And then depending how tight your hamstrings are, you might want to make space between your legs. See where you want your legs. Feel your sit bones and think about from your hips up. Just gonna lengthen, so I'm just gonna lengthen forward, keep rooting down into the earth, and just let those arms relax. Just getting into our spine, back to the body, the hamstrings. Some people like to take a block or two and rest their forehead. Or you can take your bolster and you can rest that bolster. Some people like to take the block and the bolster and then just rest your forehead. Just taking your time, forward holding. Just notice where you are feeling it. Coming down, playing your edge. Finding that first edge of resistance and just relaxing. And again, just modifying anything you need to modify. Everybody's body is different. Just notice where you're feeling the sensations, making sure it's all the sensations. Nothing painful. Numbing or tingling. Just wrapping up. A few more deep breaths here. Just take them out nice and slow. And maybe sit back and put your white more again. Just bend your knees. And reach your right 
Sitting on the edge of your blanket, just helps bring your hips and palms forward. And just bring that right sole of your foot into that left inner thigh. And my knees tend to come up, so I like to put a block into my right knee just to let it rest. Again, you can have your bolster in front. Let's see if you can turn your torso towards that left leg. And maybe place a bolster here. Just feeling that forward fold. Just notice where you're feeling your flat, maybe this QL muscle, that right muscle in your side body, deep inside there. Get straight, maybe the glute medius, upper glutes. The more you forward fold, the more you'll feel it maybe in your hamstrings, your back. Just taking any props you need and just resting here. Noticing if your mind's wandering, just bringing it back time and time again. That natural rise and fall of your breath. So our intention here is the back of the spine, the lower back, stimulating the liver and kidneys, helping with digestion as we pull the fold. If you have sciatica, just elevating your hips, sitting on that cushion or blanket. And if you need to go further, you can either reach down for your left big toe with your left fingers, and you bring that right on up and over. This is only a suggestion if you want to go further. A little bit more of a yang stretch. Just come back to butterfly if this is too much instead of half butterfly. Slowly coming up in your rig. Taking that to the other side. Taking that right leg. And left shoulder foot comes in. This pose isn't crawling up to you. You can always just come back to the bottom portion. So here, so or any pose. Calling out to you, playing around with their legs, how wide you want them, and just letting your sit bones root down into the earth. It's like about lengthening your spine. And just staying here. Just not forcing anything. Stressing those tissues, all 
all need a certain level of stress in our lives, in our tissues. We stress the tissues, rest them, and then stress them, and they grow stronger. I'm going to go a little further, reaching for that right toe and that left arm can come up a little bit. Any more of the side body and that uh, cue on the Slowly coming up and just removing any of those blocks. Sitting back again, just do a gentle windshield wiper. And then to our twisted deer next. Just seeing if you can sit on the side of your back, like me, so I'm facing the side of my head. And I'm going to bend my right knee. I bend my left knee behind me, so the right sole of my foot is on my left thigh. I'm going to take that bolster to the back of my mat at my right hip. So twist it here, and you have a blanket. It's a blanket on top of your bolster. So you're sitting with your right hip at the bolster. Bolster is the long way at the back of your mat, or the front, in the way. <laughs> So do both sides so. <laughs> but just make your legs comfortable. And you're going to take your belly onto that bolster. So just facing your bolster, slowly lower down and just turning that right cheek on your bolster, letting your arms relax on the floor. So where we can rest here, feeling this in your spine. So making sure you're comfortable. And you can always, if you're not feeling anything, you can always turn that left cheek just a little bit more intense. So just making sure you're not feeling anything painful, nothing or tingling. Taking some deep breaths here. Trying to relax. So this goes improves digestion, relieve gas, helps relieve symptoms of menopause. Therapeutic for high blood pressure, asthma. Just being careful of your knees. See any sensations you're feeling? Working the gallbladder moment, liver, kidneys, stomach, and the spleen are all activated in this pose. Joints affected at the hips, and also the spine. Taking one more breath here. So 
slowly planting those seeds. And coming up nice and small. Bringing those weeds in front of you and just a gentle windshield wiper. Just turn your back to the bolster and drop your knees to the other side. So that left knee bends first, and then that right knee comes behind you for the left sole of the foot, which is facing the opposite side of the foot. Slowly turning your stomach onto the bolster and resting that left cheek on the bolster. You get to that twisted here on the other side. Just making sure you're on the other side now. Want to turn that right cheek if you want a little bit more intensity. You can turn the right cheek on the bolster. Slowly start to walk those hands up. Coming back here and taking that windshield wiper, feet nice and wide, side to side. And you can slowly lower down, so just moving this crop like you would. Slowly lowering down, this is slow, just bring your knees into your chest. Just take a few breaths here, gently rocking. We make some gentle circles, just massaging that low back, sacrum, hold on to your knees. Taking your feet together, knees wide. Just reversing that direction. The next pose is our happy baby pose. Just bring your feet up to the sky, bending those knees a lot. Take your feet nice and wide. And just staying here, or if you can reach for your ankles or your big toes. Just keeping that low back sacrum on the earth. So relaxing your head, shoulders. In the whole back side of the body on the earth. Just gently rocking side to side, not forcing anything. Again, you can always just hold on to your shins or your ankles. Just think about pulling the knees towards the earth. Yeah. 
seeing that we can keep the soles of the feet shining up to the sky. Just keeping those knees as wide as you need to. Just notice where you're feeling any sensations. Just holding stillness here. Slowly releasing those feet and just bring your knees into your chest. And just extend those legs straight. Just take a rest here for a minute. Take a few breaths. Your legs and arms relax. Good, so you can just reach for your strap here. Grabbing that yoga strap. Take that to your right foot. Just keeping that left leg nice and long. Or you can always bend that knee if you want. Just take that strap to the ball of your right foot. So you can hold that strap in your right hand. And just see where your leg is. You might be here, you might be here, or you might be here. Not forcing anything, just coming to your first edge of resistance. Letting that right arm relax, and that right elbow rest in the earth. Holding your leg up here. Seeing if you can keep this left hip on the earth, left leg. Maybe flex the left toes. Stick that left arm up to the left arm facing down. Coming to your first edge resistance. Pull that leg towards you. Always flex and point your feet. See how that feels. Slowly take that leg out to the right. And again, coming to that first edge of resistance, as soon as you feel it, just holding it there. Just turning your head to the left. Next breath in, so see if you can bring that leg back up and switch hands. Crossing that leg just a few inches over that left thigh, bring that right arm up to the right, palm facing down. And just see if you can turn your head to the right. Thank you. 
that leg back up to the sky. And just bend that knee into your chest. Squeeze, squeeze. And just remove that strap. Bring that right leg relaxed, shaking it out here. See how that right side feels. That strap, your left foot, and holding that up to the sky. You can let that right leg relax. Your first edge of resistance, no pulsing. Take that right arm off to the right, palm facing down. Turn your head to the right. Slowly take that leg out to the ball. All sitting bones on the knee. Just backing up with your right sitting bone lifts up. Just turning your head to the right. Slowly bring that leg up and switch hands on your strap. Keep that left arm up to the left and that leg just over that right thigh of your entrance. Just turning your gaze to the left. Keep both sitting bones on the arm. That left hip lifts up, just bring it back on the arm. Squeeze as you remove that strap. Using that left leg to the earth, shaking it up. And just come into your shavasana so you can let that bolster under your knees, feel the lower back issues. There's a blanket or a bolster. Under your knees, don't leave any pressure. Just letting your arms come up to the side, just letting them relax. Just closing your eyes once you're comfortable and giving yourself permission to relax. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Letting your breath be natural. Quieting your mind. All the bus hustles, phones, attendants, looking into everything, earth and mountain. No effort, no way to go. Just resting here for the next few moments. Taking a deep breath in, deep breath out, <clears throat> seeing if you can feel that water element breathing is open, the kidneys, the blood, and the chi that flow from your arms. Kidneys can moisten the body, that water element. Balancing the body for better health. Sweeping your knees into your chest, remember. Just gently rocking side to side. Wiggling fingers and toes. Just making small movements. Just rolling to either your right or left side, to the sides, pulling up to your foot. Just resting your head on your arm. Just recalling your attention to yourself. Who brought you to your mat this morning? Your attention. You're ready, slowly coming up. More comfortable seat. Just taking a few 
breaths here. So bring your palms to your heart center. Healthy, you can see. Stay. Stay. You have a nice day. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, in um, Mel Melvika. Yeah. What's her name? Melvika. Gentle on Monday. Yeah. That was a really good class. Yeah. yeah so me and uh, Melvika are gonna alternate Monday nights. I, th I think that's an excellent idea. I don't. I th think it matters who does it, but it is nice to have that alternate. You yeah. Things. That's great. Yeah, I picked up a couple more classes, so I needed a I need the teachers to help me out here. <laughs> good. good for you. Great idea. Have a good day. All right, you too. Take care. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Janet. See you soon.